thank you so much, Aritha, for the nice introduction. We are super excited of our partnership with TechSoup and being able to bring Geniali to so many nonprofit organizations. Um, we're also thankful for everybody joining the session today. Um, we hope you're going to be living today with a good sense of how you can use Geniali for your um, nonprofit and how you can create really good marketing materials using our tool. So um, as a summary of what we are going to be covering in the session today, uh, we are going to be talking about what Genially is. I know there's a lot of new people to Genially, so we're gonna explain what Genially is and how you can use it for your organization. Uh, we're gonna talk about why creating this type of interactive resources is important to connect with your audience, with your communities, with your donors, how you can use these interactive materials. And then we're gonna uh, show you real life examples for a, from a real nonprofit organization called Global Case Study Challenge. Uh, they're here with us today and they're gonna show us how they're using Genially in their everyday, in their everyday life. A little bit of an, of an introduction. My name is Conchi Ruiz Cabello, as Arita says. I'm the head of global partnerships at Genially, and I am located in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, but the company, Genially is a Spanish company, so my role with them has been uh, building that community in the US and building that network of partners in the US to bring our solution to as many people as we can. And that's how I met TechSoup, and that's how I met Dr. Anna, and I'm gonna let Dr. Anna introduce herself. Thank you so much, Conchi, and thank you TechSoup for the invitation to participate in this amazing webinar and to help other nonprofits as well and share, and share our experience. My name is Anna Zinenko, and I am uh, currently located in uh, Barcelona, Spain, connecting from Europe with you today. And uh, I'm part of the management team and development team of um, NGO, Educational NGO, Global Case Study Challenge that is located uh, situated in Austria, but we have a global reach as we're working with uh, global educators and students from all over the world. And we currently are the biggest virtual exchange project in uh, Europe uh, and also hoping to be as well uh, bigger as well, including other continents, but we have also presence in United States and participants from United States and from other continents, including Africa and Asia as well. So later on, I will share our examples and experience with Genially, but we truly love it and we already with Genially for more than two years now. Thank you, Anna, and they, they do a great job. So make sure you, you stick until, until the end because it, they, they really do a great job in their organization and, and using Genially. Um, before uh, we begin, I just wanna say that um, you can sign up for Genially on the website, it's genially.com. It is free to sign up and it comes with a really robust free version. There's a lot you can do. And when you're ready to upgrade for the premium version, for the paid version, you can take advantage of our offer with TechSoup and you're gonna be able to access Genially either uh, for, for free or at a very discounted rate, depending on the size of your organization. So I highly encourage you to check the TechSoup offer and Genially out. And we'll be leaving the links on the chat later. And I also wanted to say before we begin that everything that you're seeing today, all the, the presentation, the materials have been created with Genially. So you're attending the webinar, but you're also seeing like a demo of the possibilities that the tool uh, gives you to create, okay? So without further delay, um, I'm gonna explain what Genially is. So Genially is a content creation tool that allows you to create this type of interactive animated digital materials. So when we talk about digital materials, we're referring to uh, presentations, infographics, um, interactive images, reports, graphics, courses, training materials, games, social media assets, anything you can think of in terms of digital materials, you can create with Genially. Our, our mission is, it's clear, we want to empower everybody to create this type of materials. So anybody with basic computer skills can create 
this type of stunning materials, no, comp no, no special computer or programming skills, no special design skills, like anybody with basic knowledge can create this. Um, hopefully, you know, we're gonna make this type of interactivity and, and a standard that everybody can create and use and share with their communities and their people. Um, we essentially believe there are two ways to communicate. We have the traditional way of communicating and that's the static content. That's what we're most used to seeing. So for example, that would be like a PDF or like a PowerPoint type of material. And in general, we can say that it's a very it's a chunk of text, very dense and very difficult to read. You have a flat image and a link. If I click here on the link, this would take me outside of the presentation and you would lose your audience, I would lose you. And then as a comparison on the other side of the, of, on the, of the screen, you have the same information, but creative, interactive, genial style, okay? So first of all, it's much more, it's much more beautiful, it's visually appealing, you like it, uh, but most important, the information is much easier to digest for your audience, okay? So instead of having to read through such a dense text, your audience can just explore the different icons and images and absorb the information in a much more friendly way. This video that you had here, you're able to embed within the creation. So you're not sending people anywhere else. They always stay within the creation. And the same way you can embed a, a, a YouTube video, you can embed a Google Maps, Google Form, everything contained in the same place. You're just adding layers of information. Okay, so essentially we could say with the static content, you could be potentially boring your audience and with the interactive content, you could be engaging your audience and really communicating the message uh, you wanna communicate. And when we talk about communication, we need to understand how our brain works and why these visual type of materials are so important. There are four keys on how we process information as human beings and genially can help you with all four of those. So the first key is storytelling. We are narrative beings and we love hearing stories. Neuroscience tell us, and this is science, neuroscience tell us that our brain lights up like a Christmas tree when we hear a story. But it's not the same with data. So we tend to put a lot of data in our presentations and not so much storytelling. So we really need to add more storytelling and balance that out to make our messages stick. And now uh, that storytelling, we need to take it to the digital platforms because everything now is on the web is digital. And that's where Genially comes in, you know, to help you create those stories and that digital storytelling. We're also uh, we're also visual beings and visual elements are very important in terms of how we process information. So we're visual, visual beings and we've communicated visually for more than 40,000 years. So you see example of visual communication from the old times um, from today. So it's not something new. This is another example on how we communicate visually. Um, it's a whole plot of a movie told with emojis. And you might think this is something new because it's with your phones, but really we have communicated like this since, since a long time ago from, from the beginning of times. And that's because our brains are biologically wired to assimilate visual information and we retain much better everything that comes through the eye. So uh, yeah, we need to use visual resources to motivate our audience and, and connect with them. Then using a positive tongue is also very important. We're all looking for happiness. We all want to have a good time. And the truth is that uh, a positive message is more memorable. So when you keep a positive tongue, your, your message is more likely to stay with your audience for a much longer time. So make sure you spread some happiness and smiles around. And then interactivity, you're seeing all these materials are interactive. Interactivity is important because we're also interactive beings. That's how we learn. We are explorers and we like exploring our surroundings. 
when we're children, that's how we learn. We explore everything, we touch, we fall maybe. So in a digital environment, it's the same. We like exploring and we like, that's why we like the interactive elements because we have that active role in the uh, learning or communicating experience. So after saying this, you're probably wondering, that's, that's great, but how can I use Genially for my nonprofit? So I'm gonna just go through a few of the things you can create. And I'm sure, you know, if we do a little brainstorming session, you're gonna come up with more ideas, but we came up with this. So you can create your annual reports, you can do presentations, you can do a business plan, a case study, volunteer flyers and posters, contribution certificates or diplomas, fundraising event agendas. You can do event agendas, very nice. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, infographics for your donors or for your cause, uh, calendar, social media assets, courses. There's a lot of things you can do. And when you go into Genially, you will see uh, there's a lot of templates. So it's very easy to get started because we, we have a, a very talented design team and we add brand new templates every few weeks. So half of the work is already done for you. So this is an example of a template we put together uh, you know, to celebrate our um, partnership with TechSoup um, dedicated to NGOs. So when you're going to Genially, you're able to create, to select this or any other template and you can edit all the information in there, okay? This is a video presentation, so it runs by itself. You can play it on your website if you embed this on your website or if you have screens on your um, office, for example, you could have this video running and you can edit anything in here, okay? So you can um, edit the text, edit the colors, add YouTube videos, embed any sort of information. Um, you can really just make it your own. And all the animations and intera interactive points are built in, but you're also able to edit those. So if you're a beginner, you can just leave the animations as they are. If you're an advanced, you can start tweaking and playing around with those as well, okay? Another examples are infographics and presentations. And this is the most common use case of Genially. Uh, we have vertical infographics like this one, for example, that is very useful to embed on a website, for example, or on a blog post, because it's, it has this vertical design also for, for media, for a magazine, digital magazine. Uh, that This is where we see this type of vertical creations. And, and, you know, I've picked some themes that I think would appeal to the organizations joining today. Um, I can show you the recycling presentation, environmental presentations. We have a, a, a lot of those. Um, the templates are very rich and complete. So this template, for example, comes with 26 slides. So that means 26 different layouts that you can edit as you like. You can add all the slides, delete the ones you don't like, move things around, um, a lot of possibilities, but just saying there's a lot already built for you, okay, ready for you. And um, there's a women theme presentation. I know we have several women organizations through TechSoup already using Genially. So I just wanted to share a women theme template but it's also nice. Equally, it has like 22 slides. So a lot of possibilities in there. You can use it for quotes, for example, as well. You can use it in many ways. And this is for the sustainable development goals. I know Anna is gonna show some examples later, similar, so I'll leave that to her for later, okay? And then um, you can also create job, job boards, um, flyers. So this is an example of a flyer you could create. I'll do it bigger. There you go. So you can create this type of flyers and you can create a job board if you're looking for volunteers or looking to hire somebody, you can do that as well. Or these type of creations are useful for LinkedIn. You know, if you wanna share about welcoming team members or if you wanna looking for somebody to hire, these type of templates are also useful, okay? And then the events, I'm really excited about showing you the events. Um, you're seeing now, I'm in, I'm, this is a presentation, I go back and forth 
uh, with the arrows here, but we also have microsite templates. So this, instead of going back and forth with the arrows, is a microsite. So you're able to click the buttons just as a website. And you can embed this on your website without the need of the programming or changing your website. You just embed your genially graphic in there and it works as a little website. So if you're doing an event, you know, you can have your little event thing. You can have your program with all the information. You can have the speaker bios and information, the, your sponsors, um, the, the location, and this is an embedded Google Maps and it's live, okay? So you can scroll and keep looking. Um, this is very, we see it a lot for events, okay? Another example would be this one, a calendar of events. If you have uh, monthly events or annual, you can create this with this type of creation and have it on your website or or send it via email you know to people like on your newsletter you could you could do that as well um, and then if you have a speaker or invited somebody to your organization you can create a profile like this and also share it with people as you see when every time you click something you have more information or it takes you somewhere it really looks like a website and it's a template you just go and edit it's very nice and then examples of diplomas and certificates, you can use many, many ways, you know, for courses or contributions. And then social media assets, of course, uh, Genially is fully interactive on Twitter. So you can interact on Twitter with the creations. And we also have games. Games are used a lot in education and training as well. Uh, I think Dr. Anna has been using them a lot. Uh, we have breakouts that you have missions you need to complete, and we also have um, quizzes. Okay, that they're very good to engage your your audience and your communities. You know, uh, when you're presenting, you play a little quiz, and it's and it's nice. Okay, so just wanted to show you that as well. Um, you know, more examples, planning diagrams, graphs. There's thousands of templates, so I really encourage you to white papers. I really encourage you to go into Genially and explore for yourselves. I'll show you very quickly the platform. This is going to take me to to my Genially dashboard. So when you register. For Genially, you will see your dashboard. These are all my presentations. For you, it will be empty if you're new. So you would normally go to create Genially either here or here. And when you go to create Genially, you have some feature presentations, new presentations. You can search uh, using the search bar if you're looking for something specific. Or my favorite is just to go into one of the categories and browse through the, all the templates because it's, it's, it's so much fun. So if, if I go to presentations, you're gonna see, you're gonna see everything that it's available. The ones with the star are premium. So for that, you would need the premium license, but there's a lot of free too. And as I said, with TechSoup, you can access Genially either free of charge or very discounted. So, um, so yeah, there's a lot of, there's something for everybody, different colors, shapes, styles. There's really something for everybody. You have a quick menu here if you want to jump to another category like infographics. Infographics, you can do maps, timelines, um, really a lot of different things. And then uh, since you you have organizations, you will find very useful the brand kit. With the brand kit, you can have your logos, your fonts, colors, images ready to use. And you're gonna see how Dr. Anna uses this feature because she has her logo in her presentation. So it looks very, very professional, very nice. And then if, if you need inspiration, we do have an inspiration section where, um, where you can see what others have created. So these have been created by users and the ones that have the arrows in here are reusable. So somebody has been super nice to make their creations reusable and you can use them for yourself or you can use them as a template and edit the information in there. Okay, so that's another way you can use. 
we have uh, some feature creators here. Uh, Ginali has a big community. We're mo more than 25 million people around the world. Uh, it's available in six languages, English, uh, Spanish, French, Italian, German, um, Portuguese. Okay, so a lot of different languages and our feature creators um, are people who are very active and they, you know, they, they will feature in their profiles of things they have they have created okay and um, and that's about it um I, today i won't have time to do a creation step by step uh, but if we do another session and there's interest from from you we can always uh, do another session on how to create a, a graphic step by step i do encourage you to visit the genially academy uh, it's, uh, it's a, an academy that we build with free courses on how to use the tool and also um, uh, our YouTube channel. We have a lot of webinars and a lot of um, videos on how to create resources from, from scratch or how to get started. So I encourage you to, to check it out and thank you so much for listening. And now I'm going to hand it over to, to Anna. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you so much. So um, we started as a non-profit non organization. We started working with Genili for almost two years ago. And it was I was blown away when I just saw one infographic. And I was uh, saying, oh, really, I would like to bring it into our like internally organization, but also for our participants. We work, as I mentioned before, with students and educators all over the world, and we teach educators how to excel, how to really do great in a virtual space. Uh, so definitely this type of engagement uh, where you can keep your audience with you uh, in synchronous and in synchronous sessions was very important. So I will go ahead and share several of our um, creations. So uh, uh, through it, you, I can explain a little bit how we are using it and it can give you some as well uh, inspirations and examples to follow uh, in the future. And this is, for example, one of the presentations that we use for our PR. So, for example, if I am uh, get, uh, trying to get on board new, new university, new partner, uh, new stakeholder as well, I would just send this link to them and uh, it contains all the most important information about our projects that we run for students, our uh, nonprofit projects. And um, it is great because I can also always update it. If I have some number updates, if I have some new things going on, I can update it and I don't need to present new presentations all over again to them. So here you can see as well, very nicely, we can introduce our team. We can even as well embed if you want a LinkedIn profiles and links directly. So you don't, uh, as Conchi was saying before, need to leave the presentation if you want to connect to the team member and uh, also um, uh, we can we can embed a video from YouTube that could be also presenting in a loop, for instance, as you can see here. And it's also introducing our project. We are all about virtual exchange, about uh, virtual global virtual teams, and we prepare students uh, and future professionals for the new work key competences, which is intercultural competences, digital competences, and sustainability thinking. So now you know what is the global case study challenges about a little bit just from uh, this part of the presentation. Uh, it is also helps a lot to visualize uh, by numbers as well by locations. You can see as well this uh, map is great. And uh, I also love how different maps are present in Genially to uh, put you know, uh, places for, uh, for your uh, participants, for your partner universities. In our case, we are uh, counting for, for on, on 36 universities from all around the world. And already through us, we created, through our editions, we uh, help students to work in 400, 15 different global virtual teams. They never met together, they never been in the same room, but they've been in the same Zoom room. Uh, and they uh, succeeded by working on real case studies uh, in, um, 
in virtual space as well. So this is a little bit of, um, and it goes on, and we later include our didactical concept. Um, also, generally, it would be really helpful to visualize your timeline. Here's another example. We use it, <clears throat> excuse me, we use it for our educators because um, we uh, provide specific onboarding session as well for educators and for the students. And in this regard, we, we are offering uh, different uh, sessions in different time zones. So here through this timeline, we try to explain and show how it works and how when when they can join um, throughout our edition. For example, you can see right now, it's 2nd of December, we just finished our last fifth edition of Global Case Study Challenge for this year. Excuse me, just a second. Anna had a call this week, so yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Thank, thank you, you for sorry. thank you for making it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I'm talking too fast, and it's <laughs> it's making me cough a little bit. But I'm very excited. You can see that as well. There is another example. Uh, we, we also run a specific expert program. This is, for example, a syllabus, and it's embedded in a certain way into our website. So when a person is interested in, um, uh, for example, in uh, learning more about this virtual training or certificate program, uh, they can download and they receive in their email uh, a link to the syllabus again. Why it's important? Because I can always update it. Here you can see, for example, I have dates already for 2023. So for example, if I have new updates or some changes, I can always update and people will be receiving, interested parties will be receiving a syllabus with updated dates. Again, I don't need to reprogram my website flow with a uh, new information with a new PDF embedded to it. It's just update here in generally and it works automatically. So this is why um, I really love it and I really love how it works as well. Oh. Um, also, um, we uh, run research uh, as nonprofit organization and educational institution, uh, and we present at different conferences. And uh, despite the fact that you could say, you know, this is very good visual tool, but how can you present research data? And I can show you as well here is an example. This is one of the conferences we have been presenting in the United States last year. IVAC uh, conference uh, was in run in New York. And here we uh, we were able as well to uh, visualize, to explain our methodology, our research instruments, and to visualize our research results. And generally helps you really well as well in visualization, also in interactive way. Uh, so, so, so you can see, so it's again, not just a static um, bar presentation, but it is also uh, shown in an interactive way. And it's uh, even during the very formal research conference, it helps you to uh, a, to a little bit stand out uh, from, from other presentations as well. Um, here, uh, another example, we've been designing for our uh, participants of certificate program. And it's really fun because I really love how you can visualize a journey of the participants, how they are uh, moving and what they've been experiencing. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, here you can see as well, uh, all the particip participants that participated in our expert program. Uh, we, we, I tried to embed as well different type of photos and it was during the graduation ceremony when we were uh, giving them their certificates as well. So everything could be done in one place and I think to visualize the journey for your you know learners it could be as well a journey for your uh, donors as well could be really really nice as well or you know the contribution where it went um, and journey for example of how your processes are working can be also helpful to do this uh, genuine uh, 
<clears throat> Another example, and this is something we use when we run trainings as well, or we do our introduction, it could be standalone slide and it could be as well something that you can embed into your presentation. For example, I, uh, by scratch, without using a template, prepared this very simple introduction of myself and all my team members have the same type of introduction and we use it depending who is running the session for instance, and it's really comfortable because again, um, it visualizes and sometimes people asking for your very short CV and generally also provides you very, very nice CVs and introductions. It could be also very uh, useful uh, for some type of uh, nonprofits that, that need this type of uh, information as well uh, to be visualized and provided at any point of time. <clears throat> And uh, during our Global Case Study Challenge, we've been working uh, as well on sustainability thinking with our participants. And in this, uh, in this one, you can see that, for example, you need to introduce even a name, and I will explain you why and how it serves you. <clears throat> uh, here we have uh, different uh, sustainable development goals that students have been learning about, and it's self-paced asynchronous module. So actually what you see is just one page, but what you really see, everything that is right now highlighted, this is a thing that can be visualized, <laughs> for instance. For instance, we can visualize infographics as well uh, for each one of sustainable development goals. And we can also click on each one of those links and redirect uh, students into new type of information and even embed as well videos here. So um, this takes time for them to explore and then they take a quiz for instance or other things, but why it is important for me to know if they engaged with it or not, because this is unsynchronous. This is not something I just show to them during live session. I just give to them and leave them to explore. And we prepared it also almost from scratch as well. Um, in this regard, uh, if you have a master uh, uh, profile in January, which when she was saying with their, their um, partnership with tech so you can access it. Uh, with the master plan, you can see uh, metrics. And this is what I can see. I can see that I have 2.5 thousand views on one, just this one page and 31,000 interactions, which means interactions clicks that have been made on this one page. For me, this is amazing because this was just one year of, um, Gen, uh, for this year, for this edition, I uh, updated it. And I know that my students, and I only had 100 students this edition, they've been active interacting and they really loved it and they've been engaging and learning from it. So this was their most important outcome. So they raised their awareness about the issue in this regard. So as well, whatever um, materials you're preparing that you would like to spread, you can also follow up and see the metrics and how it's working. And you also can try track even who exactly been, as you saw in the beginning, I introduced the name here. So then as well, you can see the tracking as well, who been engaging by names with your presentation. Obviously this is <clears throat> something uh, extra. And this is also one of the questions that been asked, what is the difference between free version and, and paid version? Uh, in, in your case, I understand with the partnership, it's also almost free version as well, but uh this this is what it allows to see the metrics and for us as organization it's very important uh one so i hope uh as well those examples have uh, been helpful and uh, uh i'm uh, i'm passing the word to conchi and we can together help and answer all questions that have been already posted in the chat Thank you, Anna. Yes, I was answering some questions in, in writing and I and I see some more uh, on the chat. I, I have a question about the difference between the premium uh, version and the free version. 
Um, the main difference, there are some features that you can only access with the premium version. Uh, for example, the brand kit that I show you to personalize with your logos, you need the master, the, the premium version. And also there's some features like downloading, downloading on, on PDF or importing your PowerPoints to Genially. We see a lot of people that have PowerPoints because they've used this program for a long time. So with the premium version, you're also able to bring those to Genially and, and edit them there. But what, what, what most people upgrade for is for the templates because the gallery of templates is way greater on the, um, on the premium version. But the free version is also very robust and you have unlimited creations. So. I, I would like to also uh, answer Rafi's question as it is asking, what is the difference from Prezi and Canva? Uh, sincerely, I haven't seen any type of tools uh, that I used Prezi, I used Canva in the past as well, that allows you to stay as you, I just showed the infographics, for example, of sustainable development goals where inside one slide you can pack it with so many information and it can be in one um, infographic or it could be in one slide as well you cannot do it uh, in canva in canva obviously you can embed a video and that's it uh, you cannot embed so many links in a very nice way that allows you as well to stay within within the presentation and continue exploring and not not leaving it uh, in this regard so definitely for me it's uh, kind of a new uh, new new update to what other tools been providing. Not saying that Canva is not uh, useful, but for for example, I only in this case if I need to prepare some visually a nice material that is more of a printed format, I use Canva. But for presentations or infographic engagement um, things uh, are. Um, useful genuinely and what also I would like to add here is uh, as I've been with using this tool for the last two years I also see is how it involves and how new features are coming so I just now learned and this is kind of new uh, I learned that this kind of new and will be coming next year for example there would be also interactive questions that could be answered you could be answering in the real time as well with your audience so it's something that is uh, also helping you in a live session as well to uh, engage even more your audience uh, and keep them together in the same place with genuine. Yes, very nice. And somebody was asking about languages. I was saying how genially it's available in six languages and we're hoping to bring more languages soon. It's a whole process every time we transfer the program to a new language and we do have a Genially Academy support blog. So a lot goes into adding, adding a new languages. So as I said, we're adding as many and as quickly as we can. Um, and hopefully we'll be adding more new languages. If there's a suggestion for a language, because that's sometimes we hear from users, we really uh, want this in our languages. If there's a suggestion for languages you would like us to consider, we will take note of those, of course. And I'm going to see if there's more questions. As there is Nicole asking a question, do you need to be connected to the internet to present a completed, complete presentation or can you download the uh, presentation? There is a different options and specifically if you have a paid, like more um, updated, upgraded type of uh, account, you can download it in different formats. You can download as an image, a very high quality image. You can download as a PDF, still interactive PDF. So for example, if you have video so links embedded they will be working the links there however if you have like windows uh, embedded as well they would not obviously start appearing in pdf because it's impossible but you can download it as a uh, um, as a specific type of html version that could be placed uh, on your computer so you don't need to depend on internet if you want to have a backup but in my case, I usually use it uh, as you saw today, Conchi and myself, we've been using through sharing a link through their browser and it works really well. Yes, and if you're using 
like uh, um, we have a lot of users in education. So in a classroom environment, you can share directly to Google Classroom and on a company environment, we also have integrations with Microsoft Teams and OneNote. So you're able to share whatever you create. On Genially, you have a button to share directly to Microsoft Teams. And if you work with any sort of learning management system, uh, Genial is also compatible with those. So you can embed or with the link, you can include that, that in the LMS and your materials will pop up in there. And on your website, you know, instead of um, having to reprogram your website, you can add the graphics, as I said, from Genially and update them from Genially. So that's another common use. There is another question um, asking, will the slide wait for the YouTube video to end before automatically moving to the next slide? You control the presentation, so it's uh, up to you how you uh, wish to proceed. But you, when you program a YouTube video, you can even decide from if you want it in a loop. For example, the example I was showing you, it was uh, shown in a loop, the video. So it was repeating itself all the time. Or you can even program starting it from you know 10 minute 10 you know of the presentation so you just want to show just uh, 30 seconds within the in the middle of the video so it's it's up to you but you're controlling the presentation and uh, when you're passing to the next slide so uh, but i know conch as well that you have another template that are for video presentations which could be a different situation where you create a whole video presentation as well in genially and uh, there is uh, obviously if you embed video it will go within the flow of video presentation mm -hmm. yeah but that is correct. As Anna said, you have control of the presentation, so you don't necessarily need to wait for the whole YouTube video. You can stop and, and carry on as you like, okay? And you can control the speed and, and, and how long you want it. It's, you have full control, let's say. I have a question about technical support. Yes, we have a great support team. Uh, you can reach out to them via email and there's also a chat depending on the time it is because the team is located in in spain uh depending on the time they might not be in the chat but if they're not in the chat they'll reach out to you the next morning or the next day uh to to answer your questions we have a really nice support team so you you'll be good taken care of for sure And I see questions about GoDaddy. I'm not sure about GoDaddy. I, I know, I mean, we have a plugin for WordPress. So I don't know if the question goes in that direction. We have a plugin with WordPress. So you're able to add your genius in the WordPress blog. Okay. I'm not sure about the GoDaddy. GoDaddy. If you want to elaborate, I can try and answer you. No plugin for weeks. Uh, Mario, but maybe soon, you know, there's some, that's, those are things we're talking about. So this is like trying to build as many features and trying to be present everywhere, but it, it takes some time. Yeah, about the, uh, I see the question about the languages. I'll, I will need to check about uh, what languages we support. Okay, so if you leave your email, Amir, I can reach out to you and answer the question for you okay i'm connecting with the right email team. there's this question from uh, amir and also mahmoud asking the same about okay right yes those right are great questions language. yeah i do yeah. speak farsi as well but i never actually tried to, to embed or any any yeah never had a, uh, an opportunity or uh, yeah to, to 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 try it out in in Genet as well Exactly. So I'll make sure either through Aritha or if you leave your email, I'll make sure to answer the question correctly. I don't want to say anything if I'm not sure 100 percent. So <laughs> any more questions? Uh, there okay. is a, a question about will there, there be learning videos posted maybe uh, maybe you can provide the link to the academy again so there is quite a lot of um, as well resources for have, learning on how to create with genially we have the genially academy where you find courses and it's free and let me post the link again and also on our youtube channel 
uh, the Ginari YouTube channel, we, we have a lot of webinars uh, on how to create step by step. So, and that's the link to the academy again. Okay. And I see a question about um, accessibility. I think we're working in some integration with another tools to make Ginali more accessible. Okay. To with it, it works with some text readers, but we're also working in accessibility because we know it's important. So that's something is coming soon as well. I see a question about what would be your recommendation setup for displaying information on a TV setup in your lobby? No interactivity setup. Yeah, you, you would need to set it up on a loop. You, can create, you could use one of those video templates and just have it set up in a loop and have it played over and over. I've seen it a lot. Uh, we work with a lot of libraries. So I've seen it a lot in libraries, this type of loop presentations and they're doing recommendations for books, for example, or the monthly book clubs, or they they have them on, on the libraries. That's one use that I have seen. Um, but depending on, on what your organization does, there's there's as many possibilities as, as you want. I, yes, I see another question from Mario. Uh, is there an app for this? That's a really good question. There's not an app for it yet. So right now you need to work um, on your computer. You could work from your browser on an iPad, but the experience is not the best. So for now, the best way to create is on, on your computer. Of course, you can access the Genially on an iPad, on a phone. You can open and enjoy the presentation or the assets in any device. But for the creation, we recommend using web. Okay, still your your web, your computer. And Bridget is also asking about different file versions. So as I mentioned, this PDF, uh, I, I believe it's JPEG as well. Uh, as image format, but MP, MP4 as well available for download uh, as well. Uh, something new as well, Conchi, right? It appeared this year, MP4 for download as a version of uh, Genially, and it is also available. Exact, exactly, the MP4 is, is pretty new. <clears throat> so now you're able to download in, in format, in video format as well. And somebody is asking about the pricing. You can check the pricing on the web, on the pricing, um, plans on their plans and trying to pull it up to send the link. So you can see the different plans. As I said, you can access the free version and the text sub offer depending on the size of your organization. Uh, you may be eligible to use Genially at a very discounted price or free of charge. So. And I think there is a, also a last question about stock photos included. I will leave it to Conchi to use it. Oh, stock. Yes. So we have uh, we have an integration with uh, Pixabay. So within Genially, and this is, you know, if we do another webinar, I like to create something so that you can see the step by step. You will see all this. You can, you can, it's linked with Pixabay. So you can look for images and add them to your creations from Pixabay. Um, we also have an integration with G Gif Gifi, Gifi, I'm not sure how you say it, uh, for the jibs. So you're able to add jibs to your creations to make them to make them more fun. So and these things you access within within Genially. Okay, they're right there like a search box, and you can access them. Another question about formats. I don't think you can export to EPS yet. Okay, I don't think that's available yet, but good question. Okay. Thank you, Amir. I hope we can bring Genially to the languages that you need to any language. Really, that's, we would love that as well. So stay tuned. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I have. 
Mahmoud email to follow up. So I'm gonna make sure I save that. And I don't know if there's any more questions. Maybe I missed some, some of them. Uh, there is Mary Jane is asking a oh. question. Is there different levels of pricing for NGOs and yes, non-profits? There's, there's, different, there's, there's different pricing for NGOs and non-profit organizations. As I said, through TechSoup, you can ask, access the program at a, at a discounted, at a discounted uh, rate, okay? And of course, I'm gonna leave my email, okay? Because I, yes, uh, Arif, uh, TechSoup is gonna send the recording. So you'll have this and I'm gonna leave you my email in case you have any more questions, you can reach out to me. There you are. And you can, you know, just send me any questions and, and I'll be happy to follow up with you. And I shared my LinkedIn if you would have any questions, would like to, uh, you start working in Genially and you have some suggestions and uh, you would like to ask a question as well, just to connect, please feel free to do so via LinkedIn as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So I wish everybody would have a great rest of the day, night or afternoon, depending on your location. Um, we hope to see you again soon on Genially. Mm -hmm.